All right, well, millions of Americans rely on home health aides, and now those aides are more important than ever. Yeah, they sure are. Seniors who can't make it to the hospital or a doctor's office are being cared for by professionals who come to the house. But there are some new questions tonight about the process now that we're battling this invisible enemy. All right, well, Michael Burstein is a spokesman for the Visiting Nurse Service of New York. He joins us on the phone. Michael, thank you. Let's start out by asking you, how are the staffing levels now, and is this outbreak uh, increasing demand? Well, thank you very much for uh, inviting me to join you. The Visiting Nurse Service of New York, we've been sending essential health care employees into people's homes for 127 years. During every crisis during that period of time and in more recent times through 9-11 and then Superstorm Sandy. Right now, you know the conditions that you've been reporting surrounding COVID-19 are changing by the hour and the safety of our 13,000 employees, our patients, health plan members and our community is our number one priority. We continue to see patients. We continue to, to uh, provide our staff with all of the information and uh, equipment that we can in order to make their um, jobs as safe as possible. Um, let me ask you something, Michael. We talk about the home health uh, aides, and obviously they leave their patients and go home at the end of the day. And um, are there concerns about them commuting and exposing, you know, the most vulnerable to this virus by having to commute? Right. Well, we have protocols in place, and as someone said on your program earlier, you know, mass transit being reduced by 75 percent in the upcoming days, that's a concern for us. Um, our home health aid workforce through Partners in Care and our clinical workforce through the Visiting Nurse Service of New York uh, rely on mass transit to get to the visits that they need to make for New York's most vulnerable. Um, we have protocols in place before our clinicians go into any home. We are screening by telephone the residents in that home, the patients and, and family members. That's not testing, as we've all heard about, but a screen to identify whether there is any possibility of symptoms related to COVID-19. Our home health aides are doing the same thing. Uh, before they go into any home, they are ensuring that there are no people in that home who are exhibiting symptoms. All right, Michael Bernstein. Michael, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it with the uh, Visiting Nurse Service of New York. So very important. We appreciate you taking the time to talk to us tonight. All right. Thank well, you. Thank you, Michael. All right. There's also especially difficult times right now for pets. Let me tell you what some local shelters.